Hi, I'm Sri from CBTU. Welcome to the Ethical Healthcare Training course based on CEH certification program by EC Council. Module System Hacking Section Brute Force Attack. Brute Force Attack is a cryptanalytic attack trying many passwords or passphrases to guess the right one. The attacker checks all possible passwords and passphrases until the correct one is found. Attacker resorts to brute force when it is not possible to take the advantage of other weaknesses in an encryption system that would have made the task easier. The softwares that perform the brute force attack are Aircrack NG, Crack, Hashcat, Loftcrack, Rainbow Crack, Cannon Double, Dev Grohl, John the Ripper, OPH Crack, etc. Attack Preference when to use the brute force attack. This goes in the hierarchy. Password guessing that comes first. For short and weak passwords, it works. Next is dictionary attack for the longer and complex passwords. The last resort is brute force attack. This is for the longer passwords, complex fast pages, keys, which have more possible values, making them exponentially more difficult to crack than shorter ones. Brute force attacks work by calculating every possible combination that could make up a password and testing it to see if it works. As the password's length increases, the amount of time to find the correct password increases exponentially. AES permits the use of 256-bit keys. Breaking a symmetric 256-bit key by brute force requires 2 to the power of 128 times more computation power than a 128-bit key. In theory, it requires about 3 multiplied by 10 to the power of 51 years to crack a 256-bit key space. Ethical hackers need to apply the countermeasures to reduce the brute force attacks. Brute force attacks can be made less effective by complicating the data to be encoded making it more difficult for an attacker to recognize when the code has been cracked or by making the attacker to do more work to test each guess. Brute force attacks are an application of brute force search. The general problem solving technique of enumerating all candidates and checking each one. Brute force search is also known as exhaustive search. In case of an offline attack, where the attacker has access to the encrypted material, he can try the combinations at his leisure, without the risk of discovery or interference. Online attacks are interactive and the databases, websites, directory admins can take countermeasures such as by limiting the number of login attempts, introduce time delays between each successive attempts, add capture answering requirement, Add multi-factor authentication by sending verification code to a mobile phone. Lock out accounts after specified unsuccessful logon attempts. Prevent a particular IP from trying more than a predetermined number of password attempts against any account on that site. One has to be vigilant and take all the countermeasures possible to safeguard the digital assets. In reverse brute force attack, a single password is tested against multiple usernames or encrypted files. The process is repeated for select few passwords. Reverse brute force attacks can be mitigated by establishing a password policy that disallows common default passwords. Thanks for watching.